M0 FXP FTM 150. I thought I'd fit the voice guide unit. So here it is here. They're only about 25 pounds and it just clips into the top. I've taken the screws out. I've actually put them on a piece of paper here so I don't mix them up. <laughs> uh, but basically two on the side, both sides, two at the front, two at the back. So it's quite obvious just, and then it lifts off. Just watch the speaker. So we just lift it up carefully and then go like so. Try not to yank the speaker off. Of course, disconnect all your power. Now the Bluetooth unit, just so in case you want to know, goes inside the back of this. There's four screws. You can see the top of the two where you put the screwdriver in there. This comes off actually quite easily um, and then it clips to the back. So the voice guide unit, as you can see, is going to go just here. Let's zoom in. Now you've got this white protruding bit there. And it's the same on quite a few radios. Even I think it's even the same on the older FT400 now. Well, anyway, I've, I've plucked it in. Let's put it back together. I will put the screws in, but before I do, I'm going to test it just for fun. Um, let's see it working. And you can see my little Bluetooth flashing there. So let's just hold down the F. And, oh, voice memory. Let's find, I don't, is it in there? Announce English. Play record. Let me just go back. Let's just make, find the proper menu. 57. They are. Four, three, four, you can three, hear it. Five, it's five, doing it now. Four, three, Didn't really. A. Let's change the frequency. It's working. We now have voice guide unit. Bye for now. Seven three.